Today I'm going to show you how to cartoonize your photos into a vector format so it's 100% crisp and clear and this is completely free. I'm going to be using Inkscape so make sure you have that downloaded. There's loads of tutorials on how to do that. This can be used for things like profile pictures or like an about us page on a website for example. But yeah, let's get into it. So I'm going to be using this photo of Drake and first we need to remove this background. So we're going to use a website called remove.bg. So once you're on the website, click upload and select the photo that you're going to use. And then this should automatically remove the background of the image, as you can see here. Once you're happy with it, click download. Then back in Inkscape, click file and import and then import the photo with no background. And now with the original photo, we can just delete it because we don't need it anymore. So now in Inkscape, you should have just the photo with no background. Click the photo and select path and then trace bitmap. And on the right side, you can see it says single scan and multiple scan. If you click single scan, it just vectorizes the image in one color, but we want multiple colors. So we're going to use multiple scans. So click multiple scans and then in the drop down menu, select colors and then let's press update. And now you can see a preview of what it's going to look like. This whole process involves a lot of experimenting. If you click smooth, it makes it less grainy and the number of scans means the number of different layers that they're going to do for each color. So if there's eight scans, that means there's going to be eight layers each different color. So yeah, just play around with the different options and the number of scans until you get to something that you're happy with. So here, let's increase the number of scans from eight to 10. Let's try 12. That looks all right, I think. And then if you press apply, it'll create a new layer and create this vectorized cartoon. If I move this layer to the side, you can see there's a lot of white gaps in it, or speckles of white, and I don't like that. So I'm gonna make some changes in the settings until I get to something that I like. For this specific photo, I'm gonna do six scans and turn on stack and remove background, and then speckles to zero, smooth corners to one, and optimize to 0.5 and then click apply. If I move this to the side now, it looks a lot better. I'm happy with that. Now on the left side, select the circle tool and then hold command and then drag and hold to create the perfect circle. Click this button next to the X to move the circle behind all the layers because this is going to be the background for our profile picture. Now select both the circle and the vector image that we made. And in the align tab, make sure last selected is chosen. Click this center button so both images are vertically centered. You can now play around with the size of the circle and the position of it, but I like it like this. And I wanna get rid of this bottom half of the image. So select the rectangle tool and then draw a rectangle that covers the bottom half. Change the color to something else. I changed it to yellow so we can differentiate it from the circle and then select the circle we drew and click command D. So we duplicate it Then select this new circle and rectangle and press command minus. It should make a circle cut out in the rectangle. We're going to use this cut out rectangle to get rid of all the excess part of the image that we didn't want. But first select the vector image and click ungroup. So all the layers are separated. Then select the rectangle and hit command D a few times as we're going to need it to delete parts of all the layers individually. Now select the rectangle and one layer at a time and then press command minus. Repeat this for each layer. If you're unsure how many layers are left to delete, you can just select the rectangles and move it down and then you'll be able to see which layers are left to delete. Make sure to hit Command Z so it moves the rectangle back in place to where it originally was. So this is what we have so far and it's looking good, but I want it to pop out a bit more. So now I'm gonna add a white outline behind the image. Make sure all the layers of the vector image are ungrouped and then click and drag over it so they're all selected and then press Command D so you duplicate all of them and then press Command Shift Plus so they all turn into one layer. Change the color of this layer to white and with this layer selected, press Command Shift Zero so we expand it a little bit more and then move it behind all the layers but in front of the circle. I want the white border to be a bit thicker so with the white layer selected, 
press command shift zero again until you get the border to how you like it. Now I'm gonna change the color of the circle. So I tried black, but I think I'm gonna go with this red. It's looking really good so far, but I think I'm gonna adjust the white border a bit more so it's a bit thicker. Play with this however you like, based purely on your preference. Now the last step is to make sure this fits perfectly into a circle. So if we change the color of the white layer to something different, you can see that the bottom part has also expanded when we've made the border thicker. So to get rid of this, it's the same as before. We need to use the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle that covers the bottom and then select the circle layer and press Command D so to duplicate it. And with the rectangle and circle selected, press Command minus. Now select the rectangle and the border layer and press Command minus. Change the color of the border layer back to white and then there you have it. That's how you turn a photo into a cartoon completely for free on Inkscape. Let me know what other tutorials you guys want to see.